security controls at the Huracan Stadium in Buenos Aires. This is the government's latest measure to prevent violence in football matches. Fans must come to the match with their IDs. Those with a history of violence won't be allowed in. Here in a stadium, we get our anger out, our frustration. I think it's going to be very difficult to eradicate violence. It is cultural and difficult to change. Football in Argentina is amongst the most violent in the world. The infamous Barras Bravas, as the local hooligans are known, terrorize not only the general public, but also the players. Dozens have died in football-related incidents. Now, Argentina's new government has decided to try another approach. For the first time, we're sending to parliament a penal law. The crimes committed in a football stadium will have aggravated sentences. We believe this needs to end. It is an embarrassment that people cannot watch a game in peace. Authorities have tried to control the violence before now. Most matches are played with fans of only one team at the stadium to prevent clashes, but there is more. The Barras Bravas are mafias that are involved in legal and illegal businesses surrounding football, like charging for parking spaces, trading drugs and reselling tickets. The reason why they're able to get away with this is because they have close links with the police, with the football club leaderships and politicians. Alejandro Casar says the Barras Bravas work as politicians thugs. They are uh, politicians labor. I mean, uh, politicians use them uh, in order to uh, go to a meeting, uh, in order to organize meetings, in order to be safety guards in their meetings. And that's why many believe that a lot more needs to happen before the problem is solved. Football is not a bubble. I mean, we are in Argentina, and it's a social issue. And Argentina is very used to not punishing people, uh, not uh, sending the uh, criminals to the jail. And that must change. A change that the new government of Mauricio Macri says is trying to bring about. But it may be years before football fans may watch a game without fear. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.